Missouri House is still debating one of the largest budgets in state history. Our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter Emily Manley has the very latest in Jefferson City as some members work to restore some of the governor's priorities. Emily? Mandy, at this hour, representatives are still debating one of the largest budgets in state history. Just the floor below me, the House is going on hour seven of debating that bill. And even though it's a couple billion dollars short of what Governor Mike Parson requested back in January, there are some priorities of his being restored, like child care, pre-kindergarten, and also parts of Interstate 70. In this budget are fully funding the formula and that's exactly what we should do. A major portion of debate spent on the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. Investing in pre-K today will save our state's millions in the long run. Before Tuesday's discussion, the House Budget Chair cut more than $100 million to expand pre-K and child care. That money added back in, but with a provision regarding diversity, equity, and inclusion. It, it's related to um, the, the underpinnings of critical theory, critical race theory coming up through, uh, which now is the public face of that is DEI and SEL. The broad language also added to the Department of Higher Ed, where members agreed to give a 5% funding increase to colleges and universities. What that says to me is if your staff is even associated with diversity, you cannot hire them. While some are frustrated with the addition, others say it's needed across the board in state government. There's nothing in here that's problematic in terms of the teaching of history or actually working toward excellence in education whatsoever. I couldn't imagine what it's like to have ancestors who treated folks so badly that we don't even want to teach history of what they did. Now, as I said earlier, the House is still debating the budget at this time. Let's talk about that funding for Interstate 70, and it would be to widen in the areas of St. Louis, Kansas City, and Columbia. Even though that $900 million has been taken out of the part of the operating budget, the House budget chair says that he does plan to discuss the legislation for that later on this session, possibly when they talk about major construction projects. He says the cut for now is not permanent. Once the House finishes debate this evening, they'll have one final vote, which is expected to come on Thursday. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.